testify God lifted you this morning. Hallelujah. I know for some of us, he had to reach way down, but he lifted us anyway. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. The songwriter said, I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. my shepherd, I shall not want. Yeah. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. Yeah. He leads me beside the still waters. Yeah. He restores my soul. Yeah. Well, he leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Well, yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Well, I will fear no evil, yeah. for thou art with me. Well, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Well, thou preparest to take before me Press of my enemies. Thou anoint my head with all my cup running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Amen. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. For he is our shepherd. Our shepherd. And we shall not want. Amen. We're going to have an altar call now by Minister William Boyd. Minister. <laughs> Shall we stand? Shall we stand? All head bow as we go to our Father. Our Father. Well. Our Father. Oh, yeah. Our Father, Abraham. Isaac and Jacob, yes, oh, yes. our Father of the morning and afternoon star. Yes. Father God, we come here today with thanksgiving on our heart. Yes. Thank you for all the things that you have done in our life. Thank you, Thank you for all the things that you are going to do. Yes. Father God, we ask for a special prayer this morning on our pastor. Oh, yes. well. Father God, we ask that you bless him in a mighty way. Well, Anoint yeah. him from the head to the sole of his feet. Touch Bless his family this morning in a special way. Yeah. Oh God, you know his needs and you know his concerns. Oh, yeah. Bless him financially right now, Father God. Bless his health 
in a mighty special way, Father God. We ask that you come by the church this morning. Bless the congregation, Father God. Father God, you know our needs and you know our concerns. I ask that you give us favor this morning, Father God. Bless the musician who played the music that sounds so good to our ear, Father God. Father God, we ask that you put your hands on the drum and he beat the sound that we may hear and understand the word, Father God. Father God, that's what we are. We have done all that we can do in this old land, Father God. After we had said our last prayer, after we had ate our last serving, Father God, we ask that you wrap your arms around us in a mighty, mighty stretch way, Father God. And Father God, we say when we leave here, we ask that you go to the prison, Father God, and let them know that you are still on the throne. Father God, we know you to be a doctor, Father God, that never lost a case. We know you to be water of a troubled bridge, Father God. Father God, we know you to be God and God all by yourself, Father God. Father God, when all has failed, we ask that we bow down on our knees, Father God. And Father God, we ask that we come to you in a mighty, mighty special way, Father God. Father God, we know you to be a lawyer that never lost a case, Father God. Father God, we just want to say thank you, Father God. Thank you. Father God, you bought us from a mighty, mighty long way, Father God. Father God, 2014 was rough, Father God. But Father God, you passed us all in 2015, Father God. And Father God, that just said thank you, Father God. Thank you. We ask that you bless our children, Father God. Bless them as they lead the way. And Father God, we once again, we have done all that we can do, Father God. Father God, we have said our last prayer. Well, Father God, we ask that you just wrap your arms around me. Wrap, Father God, wrap, Father God wrap. bless my mother, Father God. Yeah, yeah. Father God, bless the people of the clergy, Father God. Oh, yeah. Father God, we know our pastor is not here, but Father God, we understand that the mission will continue to move on. Father well, God. We ask that you bless Rhett Nath, that this Black History program that we're putting together, Father God. We ask that this room, we have we have not enough room in this house, Father God, for the guests that we plan on having here, Father God. Oh, yeah. Father God, we know that we have been good to us. We know that we have been not good, but you have been good more, more better than we have to ourselves. Well, excuse my talk, but Father God, we just continue to say thank you, Father. Thank you. Father God, thank you in a mighty, mighty way, Father God. Father God, we know we couldn't have done without you, Father well, God. Father God, we know you able, Father God. Able. Father God, you're so able, Father God. We just want to say thank you, Father God. Thank you. Father God, once again, bless us from the top of our head to the sole of our feet, Father God. Father God, bless the person who will be writing the word today. Father well. God. Bless them in a special way that we may receive it and go out in the community and do the work of the Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Why don't we just remain standing? Give God some praise Amen. this morning. Amen. 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 Father God. Lord, we lift you up today, Father God. We magnify your holy name. For you are worthy to be praised, Father God. And we give you the highest praise there is, Lord. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, I don't know what we would do about doubt. Father God. Yes. Oh, hallelujah to the King yes. of all kings, the Lord of all lords. Yes. We exalt your holy name, Father yes. God. Yes. And thank you for being so good to us. Let's yes. hear a song back from Michael, please. Yeah, we give God some praise. Hallelujah. Praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, won't you lift up some praise this morning? Come on, won't you lift up a good hallelujah this morning? Come on, come on, put those hands together and bless them this morning. Hallelujah! 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 Bless your name, Jesus! Bless your name, Jesus! Bless your name, Jesus! Bless your name, Jesus! Hallelujah! Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord this morning. Come on, look at your neighbor and say, God is good this morning. Come on, look at him and say, he's good this morning. He's good this morning. Come on, does anybody need a good God this morning? Come on, does anybody need a good God this morning? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You ought to look at your neighbor and say, God is good this morning. 
your neighbor say, neighbor, I don't know about you, but I need the Lord this morning. Come on, come on, come on. Look at him say, you need the Lord this morning. I need him, you need him, we need him this morning. Hallelujah. When grandma felt down in her spirit that she needed him, she called him. She said, Father. Y'all ain't gonna hear this. I swear. Thank you, Lord. 
Come on, look at about two or three people around you. Say, he's been too good. He's been too good. set your watch by this one. We want to be uh, give you what God gave me and then we're going to move on from there. Just a word this morning while you're finding the book of Nehemiah. The book of Nehemiah and we're going to go to the sixth chapter this morning. The book of Nehemiah chapter number six. We're just going to look at verse 1 through 3. While you're finding that this morning, I just want to say to all of you, we want to thank you for being here, for being a part of Greater Destiny. Whatever it is that you do, whatever it is that you don't do, we're glad you're in the house doing it or not doing it. It's just good to see you in here. Yes, sir. We thank God for our pastor who is uh, out this morning. Uh, we got a Bishop McCoy, but we appreciate all that God is doing in his life. And we just want to appreciate you for being a part of that. Because he can't progress anything without us behind him to help. Yeah. I'm right about it this morning. This morning we need each and every one of you to be able to make things happen here at this church. How many want to see Greater Destiny grow and do well? We need everyone to make that happen in every facet. I know I have an old school approach to church, but I'm still young. And there's still a ministry for our young people, all of which we'll be pushing forward with this year. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to do a lot of things. But most importantly, we're going to advance the kingdom. Well, Amen. 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 We want to be a part of the 21st century, all that God is doing. Uh, here at the church, and we're going to come together to do that. Won't you put your hands together to bless God for Minister Hill, who's joined us this morning? God bless you, brother. You're more than welcome to join us up here this morning. He's my good buddy. He's preached for us a couple of uh, once or twice, something like that. Amen. We appreciate his ministry and being a part of us this morning. Did you find Nehemiah? Yes. Nehemiah what? Again. Nehemiah the sixth chapter. And if you would stand real quick while we reference the reading of God's word, I promise you we'll be just a minute. Brother, you're looking good back there in your pink shirt. I'm just saying. God bless you. All right. Amen. You came here strong with it this morning, too. It's hot pink. It ain't even pink. It's hot pink. Came in ready to roll. That's all right. All right. If you have it, indicate by shouting, amen. Amen. Now it came to pass when sin ballot. And Tovia, and Jishim, and uh, Arabian, and the rest of our enemies heard that I was building the wall. Well. And that there was no breach left there within, though at uh, that time I had not set up the doors upon the gates. That same ballad and Jeshem sent unto me, saying, Come and let us meet together in some one of the villages in the plain of Ono. But they thought to do me mischief. And so I sent messengers unto them saying, I'm on the wall. I'm doing a great work. And I can't come down. Why should the work of the Lord cease whilst I leave it and come down to you? I just want to focus on that one verse and that one statement from the prophet. He said, I'm on the wall. 
Mm. And I can't come down. All right. All right. So for a subject this morning, just look to your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. I have one question for you. I have one question for you. Turn down for what? Turn down for what? <laughs> See, young folk got it. Turn, turn down for what? Father God, we ask that you bless this word this morning. Just bind it to our hearts. Strengthen us this morning as we go forward to do your will. And give us revelation and anointing to go forward today in Jesus' name. Yes, Amen. Amen. Turn down for what? You can be seated in the presence of the Lord. The book said that the prophet Nehemiah was doing a great work for the kingdom and he was building a wall to keep out the enemies of the people of God. He began to build the wall because he noticed that the city of Jerusalem was in ruins because they had no protection. How many know when you don't have protection, that's when the enemy will come in and mess things up in your house? The book said that the wall had been torn down by enemies and left that way by the people of God over the years. And the prophet saw an obligation and a duty to begin to rebuild the walls of the city of God. As he did that, he met with various trials and tribulations from his own people, as well as from the people on the outside. It's funny how whenever you're doing a work for the Lord, you seem to get it from both sides. Y'all don't, yes, don't yes, even yes. want to talk to me this morning. I, yes, I said, yes. when you're doing a work for the Lord, you always seem to get it from both sides. Okay. Okay. For some reason, your family, all of a sudden, they start tripping. For some reason, your friends all of a sudden they start tripping. Well, for some reason, your co workers they start on. tripping. Whenever you're doing the work for the Lord, it seems like the two people who are at odds with each other seem to come together just to bring you down. That's right. yes, yes. And it's just amazing how the enemy will work together because they will begin to come together to tear down what it is that you're doing. Well, yes, yes. One of the ways that they will do that is not necessarily by a direct attack. But what they will do is they will come in and they will try to say, hey, why don't you just stop what you're doing? Yeah. And as long as you stop what you're doing, then we can be at peace. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, they didn't come to Nehemiah and tell him directly, stop building the wall. They didn't come to Nehemiah and tell him directly, we're not happy about you building the wall. All they requested is that you stop building the wall to come see me. It's amazing how people around you will always tell you, not directly, but in so many words, I need you to stop the work of the Lord that you're doing yes. to come see about me. Yes. I need you to stop fasting. I need you to stop reading in order to come see about me. You don't need to fast this morning. I cooked a good old big breakfast for you. Why don't you sit down to it? You don't need to read the word this morning because we, we already watched T.D. Jakes online last night. Yes. Anything to kind of stop what you are doing. Touch your neighbor and say, don't fall into the trap. Don't fall into the trap. Look at the other neighbors. Just say, don't, stop, don't fall into the trap. Don't fall into the trap. Because the enemy's tactic is to simply get you to stop doing what you're doing. Yes, yes. The songwriter said we need to be turned up. And I heard so many other people around have taken that phrase around with it. We're going to get turned up for Jesus. Yes. Well, that's fine. But as soon as the enemy gives you a suggestion to stop what you're doing, all of a sudden you lose the energy, you lose the focus, and you stop doing what God has called you to do. But how many know we are living in a time and we're living in an age where if the kingdom of God is going to advance, we need to stay where we are, grinding at the grind and doing what we're doing so the kingdom will begin to progress. Amen. Here at Greater Destiny, we are at a strategic point. Either we're going to stay turned up or we're going to turn down. Either we're going to stay grinding for the things of God or we're going to find ourselves shutting our doors just like many other churches in the city. 
I don't know about you this morning, but I'm determined to make sure that the doors of greater destiny stay open and we stay doing the work of the kingdom of God. Now, I can do that with you or I can do it without you, but the sign out front is going to continue to say greater destiny Sunday service or Sunday morning at 9.30 a.m. because the kingdom, of the, the kingdom of God needs to continue. Why should the work of the Lord cease? Come on, man. Right. Come on, preacher. Right. Now, I, I wonder if anybody else, can I get five more people that are dedicated to that this morning, that we are on the wall and we can't come down? Well, I'm going to get ready to close already. I'm done with what I got to say. I, I believe that we can advance the kingdom of God if we can come together with the same attitude. If you look a couple of chapters earlier, read it on your own time tonight. The book said before they started building the wall, Nehemiah had to talk to the people. And as he began to talk to them, they began to see what he was saying. That we need the wall to be built in order for our people to be safe. And the book said that the people had a mind for the work. Now what that means is, is their mindset was ready to go and to get out there and to work good. Have you ever looked out at your yard and you decided, I'm going to rake these leaves today. I'm not going to let nothing else stop me from raking these leaves. Have you decided, I'm going to clean this garage. I'm tired of all this junk in this house. I don't know about you. Every time I look around, I look around my house sometimes and I think, uh-uh, I got to do this today. I don't care. No, I'm, I'm turning off the phone. I'm going to get this one thing done. If you don't know my wife, she's like that. Terry to take she'll, she'll scrub baseboards and clear out spider webs. She's not going to let anything deter her from cleaning the house. Call her Tuesday. That's what she's doing. Cleaning, doing laundry. I'm telling you, just wait. She's going to have a dedicated mindset to finish the task that she put at hand. Greater destiny, God has given us a task to be able to build the kingdom of God. We need to drive forward with an attitude that we're already doing the work of the Lord. Why stop doing it for somebody else? Why should the work of the Lord cease? Somebody ought to be excited this morning and shout out, I'm on the wall and I can't come down. Well, come on. I can't come down. If I have that attitude and she can have that attitude and Jim can have that attitude, then together we can advance the kingdom of God and bring Montgomery a ministry that will help them grow and develop. As I close, the book of Acts said in the, in the first chapter that they were all together in one accord and in one place. In order for us to see the Spirit of God do something great, we all need to be in one place. Well, I see you, I see you, I see you, I see you, I see you. That means together we're all together in one place. It ain't so hard, Sister Betty, to get folks together in one place. Where it becomes difficult is to get everybody on one accord. <laughs> Just because you're sitting next to me don't mean that we're on one accord. But if we can all begin to pray, Lord, give us all the same spirit. Give us all the same heart. Then, then our commitment might begin to match each other. And when we come together, the enemy doesn't know what to do. Because he likes to build churches and tear them down with division. Because we're fighting about this. We arguing about that. We disagree on that. And the kingdom can't go forward like that. But if we can come together and say let's stay turned up, turned down for what? Then we can grow the kingdom of God. Next time somebody says to you let's go do this instead of growing bread and destiny, just tell them turn down for what? Why should the work of the Lord cease? Let's get in one place on one accord and build the kingdom of our God. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say I need you. I need, I, need I need you. I need you. I need you in order to advance the work of the king. Yes, this is a year where we can begin to grow. Oh, yes. This is a year where we can begin to advance. Mm -hmm. This is a year where we can take the message all around this community, all around this city, yes. and check it out, all around this nation and the world. Amen. 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 If we come together, Yes. And put our energy into the kingdom of God. Amen. Into this local body. Oh, 
Amen. Watch what God will do. Amen. I want you to look around, just kind of look around, see walls there, see the doors, see the windows. Does everybody see it? Yeah. See it? All right, now I want you to look around. I need you to use different eyes, though. You with me? You with me? There's a section right over there that looks just like this one. There's a section right over here that looks just like this one. Same number of pews. There's a section behind that one. It starts going up in the riser. Same number of pews. It's a section over there. It's kind of diagonal though. Doesn't fit all the same thing. It goes up risers. There's doors there. There's doors there. There's ushers on the doors right there. Right there. Right over here. Right over here. We got a nice Hammond B3 organ. Oh, oh, I know you did this. <laughs> right over there. Oh, yes. We got nice drums with a cage sitting around it right over there. Yeah. Look, Fred laughing. <laughs> got all that right there. The pool pit is nice plexiglass pool pit. My Lord. Church logo right there. My Lord. Wow. Did y'all see it? I see it. I'm, 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 there's a screen right there. Screen right there. When you came in the door, they had the Greater Destiny logo coming right on right there. Right there. Everything's right there. The offering buckets are not even these. Because the kind of offerings we get don't fit in these. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got nice big buckets yes. with the Greater Destiny logo on the side. Amen. And every Sunday, they full. Amen. And the reason they full is because this man make $400,000 a year. Because this sister right here makes $100,000 a year. Because this brother right back here makes $222,000 a year. Because this brother back here ended up uh, launching a music career and he's giving a million dollars to the church last year. I'm trying to get y'all to see what I see. If we can see it together, then we can advance the kingdom. Turn down for what? Why can't we get there? Let's get there together. Look at your neighbor and say, I need you to make it happen. Won't you stand to your feet this morning and let's pray for God to push this forward. And do what needs to be done. I went five minutes longer than I needed, but I needed you to see what I saw. Amen. My God. Amen. Pastor Will, he sees the same stuff. Mm. Amen. Actually, his attitude, yeah, whatever you see, let's <laughs> sound good to me. <laughs> let's get it there. Amen. We need each other to make it happen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Father God, we pray that you would bless us this morning. God, we pray that you would strengthen us this morning. Oh, yes, Lord. Give us vision to drive the work forward. Oh, yes, Lord. Give us that drive. Give us that spirit. Give us that chemistry together to be able to work together, mm -hmm. to be able to communicate well yes, yes. so that we can advance the kingdom yes, Lord. and that our work will be able to reach out to others. Yes. We can't even begin to bless the community until we've established ourselves. Oh, yes, yes. So we pray that you would help us to stand, help us to do what needs to be done. Yes, Lord. Help those that need to be humble to be humble. Help those that need to be more aggressive to be more aggressive. Help those that have gifts to exercise those gifts. Help those that have talents to exercise those talents. Help those that have professions in certain areas to step forward and offer those professions. God, help us to do it together oh, yes, so that we can begin to grow and pull on everybody's strengths yes. and cover everybody's weaknesses. Oh, yes. And that way, as one voice, yes. we can preach this gospel. Oh, yes. Yes. We thank you today for what you're going to do. Yes. In Jesus' name. Oh, yes. Amen. 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 Give God a hand of praise this morning. Amen.